Hey, good day everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. Today we're out in the hay field. Jim is cutting some clover with Ken and Bill for right now. It's a beautiful, beautiful hay day with some nice luscious clover. And, oh, I'm sorry. I, it's not Ken and Bill, it's Bill and Baron. Jim will tell you what else he's been up to this morning. I just said that you were out here mowing hay and I got it wrong with who you had out here, but I changed it up and said, got that wrong. Hey everybody. Well, this morning, had a busy morning. I went out and got another good size load of firewood and I used can and bill. Now I'm starting to cut my my second covering, cutting clover. This is new seeding last year. And as you can see, it's quite thick. And it is giving me some trouble. What is happening is the knives are cutting nicely. And this is pretty normal for second cutting. The grass is still a little bit wet, even though it's late morning. And, uh, you know, so thick, that's why it's still wet. But what's happening on my guards, the hay is balling up on my guards and then it will start doing this and then after a short period of time it has a wad of hay this big around a particular guard and then it stops cutting in that one spot. The knives don't stop, it, it keeps going back and forth, but the big ball of hay on the guards stop it from going. It's, uh, it's rather thick in here, it's kind of lodged down in places from all the rain we've had so it's very hard mowing. But hopefully I can get this cut, this one strip right here, and this will be all wrapped around bales, hopefully. So we'll see how it continues on. Better view of what's happening. So it's falling up like that and stopping the hay from coming in. Will it be better when it's dry? Yeah. But it may not be dry till six o'clock tonight. It's um, around 11 right now, so that's how wet it still is. I thought you were mowing. Well, I had another breakdown. 
What happened? That's major, but I had a breakdown. Hey, while we're right here, let's show everybody my new wrapper. Alrighty. Is it really new? Yes, it is. It's brand spanking new. So I want to show this, guys. I have been having Owen, my neighbor, do round bale and wrapping for me for quite a while. And he's just getting kind of too busy to do both. So he suggested that I buy a wrapper myself. And then he would still continue baling the hay, round baling the hay for me. And then I will do the wrapping myself. So I went and purchased this um, from out in Vermont. And uh, I'm having a little bit of troubles getting it hitched to my tractor. Things aren't fitting quite right, but but uh, we'll, we'll figure that out all right, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited for the fact that I can do this myself and I don't have to rely on Owen to do this part of the farming. And it allows me to do more round bales and wrap more round bales so I can not so dependent on the weather to get dry hay in, which is going to be nice. It might get me so next year even I can get my haying done um, long before, you know, being this late, which is what we deal with now. But anyways, let's go back and I want to get to do some mowing. This morning I was mowing with, with Baron and Bill and I had a minor breakdown and um, so I had to quit lunchtime anyways. And so after lunch I decided to take Ken and Baron out and uh, they've been mowing all right, but I'm really not getting a lot done. And I'll talk a little bit more about it after I get out there. Okay. Step high. Careful. Cheek. Cheek. So down here on the lower end of this field, it's still kind of wet. I'm a little bit concerned here. Um, I'm not concerned about the raking. I'm not concerned about the baling, but I'm concerned about picking up with the skid steer. I'm going to be very careful, 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 careful. Oh, um, you know, as you can see right there, it's definitely wet. So uh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm half thinking I may not even mow this whole piece and just do a, this portion of it, you know, a couple more times around and quit. Um, I'm still got issues with getting the wrapper hitched onto my tractor. So I may not do this whole piece, cut this whole piece for today. Um, we'll see how it goes. So I'll get hitched on here. What had happened is there's a bolt holding this evener on, and there's supposed to be a spring here, and I don't know why, but I keep breaking that bolt. And when it does, of course, the horses walk right out with the evener. And they did it, and I forgot even to take it out of gear. So I'll get myself over there where I belong and get hitched on. As I'm pushing this muck right here, just, my goodness, if I was to come in here with the skid steer to pick up a bale, I'd be buried. So I'm going to have to be very careful how I, how I do this. This is one of my drier fields. <laughs> Hard to believe though, but it is.
Had a deer out here earlier. Tried to take a picture of it, a video with the camera, with the phone, and I guess I probably did, but don't know how it came out. Hey. Happy. Uh, I cast that. Cast that. Oh, my. I've kind of come to the conclusion that a lot of my problems I'm having is because, I don't know if you recall, but I did a video, I believe, and showed cutting this field on the first cut, and there was a lot of lodged grass. So right up in this area here, where it's giving me the most trouble right now, there was a lot of grass that didn't get cut clean. And so we have that old hay um, from the first cutting that is, I believe, what's causing me a lot of my troubles. Catch up.
Yep. Careful. Tick. Tick. Careful. Tick. As you can see, I've got some help in the garden. I'm digging up my red potatoes, they're early potatoes. And there's a whole row of them. As you can see, they've died down a lot. My later potatoes are over here and they're still growing a little bit. But um, the chickens love it when I'm in the garden. I really don't have to feed them much because they eat all the worms that I dig up and they just follow me around. I'll show you also what else is going on here in the garden. Um, we've got tomatoes on the way. They are doing, they're getting big and bushy. There's a starting of uh, a red one there. And it looks like I'm gonna have a bountiful crop. The Rain has been hard on my cucumbers. Look how yellow they are. But still, I do have some, and I have some also over in my raised bed. So they're doing great. And what else do I have to show you? I need to harvest my cabbage. Here's some dill, some Swiss chard, just kind of getting ahead of me and some lettuce, basil, broccoli on the way. It's a little bit planted too thick. Turnips, I'm not really sure how much I love turnips, but I did plant them. We'll see what happens with the turnips. I know I can feed them to the cows if nothing else. Um, and then I have a bunch of zinnias. Oh, look, there's a swallowtail. He was here earlier. I know it's the same one because the, the wing is broken, but still enjoying the flowers. And I think within not too long, we're gonna have some corn here. So I'm probably gonna have to watch out for the coons because they always come when the corn's ready. They make me so mad. Looks like Jim's done with the horses and he's going to put them away so we'll i'll go out and brush them in a little bit um i wanted to just show you with the abundant rain we've had uh the hydrangea and the flocks are just going crazy this year crazy 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 the weeds are in here too but the flocks are very abundant and i can even smell them when I walked out of the house. So just wanted to give you a little view of the garden. 
get in here and be good. Come on, Kenny. What? Am I going to what? Um, film lady right now or no? matter. Much way up, Brenda. Come here. Oh. Yep. Yeah. She's getting away. Come on, you little sucker. Oh my goodness. Here, take the camera. <laughs> you little tank. <laughs> Come here, girl. She's growing good. Come She's here. cute, isn't she, Dad? Come here. Come here. Okay, I gotta just pick her feet up. Let's show everybody her face, cause she's really. Well, look at her butt. Oh my goodness, she's rubbing all your hair off. Taking a leak. Uh -huh. You feel better? <laughs> okay, feet time. Ah, come here. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Sometime here soon, I'm going to trim her feet up a little bit. Okay. Let's show everybody our face. And Bray, look at you. She's really turning darker. Yeah, she is. So let's write that down on the whiteboard. Yep. Suppose we could up way up lady while we're right here. I think maybe I will. Okay. Why don't you adjust it probably to, I don't know what it, what it was last time, 1700. 
Lady, 18, 16, 1700, yeah. Oh. Seventeen sixty-five. She's getting fat on that green grass out there. Oh. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Hammer. Just wanted to share a little Hammer. bit of what is going on here on the farm today. Everybody will be going out for the night. Bye, 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 Pray, are you going along? Come on. Hey. What's Come on. Aren't you wondering where Mama is? Go ahead, Burberry. Come on. Come on. Her hair's really growing too. Got to put a halter on her. Oh, okay. So I can lead her good. <laughs> I mean, come here. Her mama's halter. Cammy. Lady Flake, where are you? There you go. Have a great night, everybody. If you want to hold this, Brenda, I want to fill my tub. It's a beautiful evening. One of these days, when Duke and Earl is down there, when they come in close, I'll have to, I'll have to put them on the scales and see what they're weighing. I think probably they weigh a lot more than they did. It's amazing with the green grass. Oh. <laughs> you almost got it. It's amazing with green grass how fast they grow. Mm-hmm. Look at that, she's starting to eat grass right there. Mm -hmm.